from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. Earlier this week, Old Mate here at Backyard Tech covered a bizarre news story about a Perth vegan who's taken her neighbours to court because she couldn't handle the smell of them barbecuing or the kids playing basketball. Talk about turning into a society of outrage and intolerance. Well, thanks to the other half, I've got another bizarre news story. Only this time, it involves a rural area of France and a rooster. It's bizarre news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, a rooster was just being himself. Court rules he can keep crowing. Why? His neighbours took the family to court because of the noise. From Backyard Tech, this is Bizarre News. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Bizarre News time here at the Backyard Tech Channel to kick off TGIF Friday morning. And I want to thank the other half for this one because what is wrong with people now? I mean, earlier this week we had the bizarre news story out of Perth in Western Australia about a vegan who's had a dummy spit because her neighbours are barbecuing meat and the kids are playing basketball. Now, my Aussie viewers know what's about to happen with that. And I hope that goes ahead. But the other half found this one in rural France. Unbelievable. Let's get into this one. So this is from one of my beloved American newspapers, the New York Times. Rooster was just being himself. Court rules he can keep crowing. Paris. The most famous rooster in France can continue to crow. So ruled a French judge on Thursday, rejecting any claim by neighbours on the southwestern island of Lorraine that the fowl, named Morris, was a nuisance and made too much noise. The judge found that the rooster, being a rooster, had the right to crow in his rural habitat. Quote unquote, Morris has won his fight. His lawyer, Julian Papineau, said after the court's decision in a small coastal city of Rochefort, oh sorry, in the small coastal city of Rochefort, quote, the judge recalled that where Morris is singing, it is in nature, it is in a rural town. Close quote. Quote, the rooster was not being unbearable, close quote, Mr. Papineau added. He's just being himself, quote unquote. The court also awarded the rooster 1,000 euros, about 1,100 US dollars, in damages, more than enough for a luxury redo of his simple green chicken coop, though the money will go to a fund for families of those who have perished at sea, his lawyer said. Morris, a modest bird with magnificent plumage, did not let out a Trump triumphant crackle at the news of his court victory in Rochefort. His celebrity has not gone to his head. The rooster and his owner, Corinne Fessau, had been sued by retired couple Jean-Louis Biron and Jolie Andriou, who have a vacation home in the area and claimed that Morris's crowing had made their holidays stressful. What, you think because you're in a rural area there's not going to be animals, cows, sheep, goats, chickens, roosters? The rooster's case had been taken up by thousands of people across France as a symbol of rural values. Eternal values in France that they say are under threat. Other neighbours staunchly defended the chicken and the mayor passed an ordinance protecting his rights. The judge's decision was soundly based on French law, the lawyer said in these, quote, fights between neighbours, the nuisance has been, has to be excessive or permanent, close quote, Mr. Papineau said. The court found that neither was the case. Quote, this is a reaffirmation that people of bad faith don't always win, close quote, Mr. Papineau said. 
and that we've got to accept nat nature's sounds. Oh, for crying out loud. So here you've got a couple who's got a holiday home in a rural part of France, where clearly there's farming happening, so you're going to have animals. You've got a rooster, and you're going to have an ark up and a dummy spit about a crowing? You, huh? To invoke John McEnroe, you cannot be serious. What the? Look, okay. If you've got a rooster in a, you know, suburb. Oh, we've got chickens over the back here. Oh, yeah, they don't bother us. We hardly ever hear them. Well, you're going to go to a rural country and expect dead silence? What? What is wrong with people now? Seriously. There we go. A bit of a bizarre news story to kick off TGIF. Stick around, more coming up. Have a good one all. Cheers.